The man from down under, also a member of the New South Tag Team, along with Corey Williams, will come out here for single competition. You never know what announcer combination you're going to get on this program. Sometimes it's Scott Hudson and, and yourself in the Worldwide Studios. Sometimes it's Tanae, Zabisco, myself. It's good to have you back in the arena here at Worldwide, Break. Right? Well, it's always fun to be here at Worldwide. A lot of action happening, like you, like you said, Tony. You never know where any of us are going to be. A lot of guys are off on assignment. Tanae's doing special interviews. You're always hiding. There's a lot of things to do. I'm not always hiding. I mean, we, all, the time. we all hide to a certain extent. But I'm not always hiding. Well, here comes two people that are very hard to hide. Well, when you have an entrant such as this, remember, he used to be Prince Iakea, then he was the artist formerly known as Prince Iakea, and then the Paisley, a couple of months ago, on, a, on an edition of WCW Monday Nitro, said we're going to start calling him now the just the artist. So that's how you refer to this, this Athlete. competitor, right. this wrestler, as the artist. Well, Paisley tells you to say something, as beautiful as she is, what can you do? you got to go along with her and, and call me artist. She is stunning. She is a man. I don't, I don't think anyone in all of sports entertainment would deny, and she's got an attitude as well, and right now, Ashley Hudson's finding out all about that. Talk to the hand, she's telling him. So Paisley will now take her position at ringside and uh, at the apron, and uh, Hudson not intimidated at all by the artist. Now remember, the artist, Whoa. a former world television champion, and under another name, of course, and also former WCW Cruiserweight Champion recently. Ashley Hudson, a great leg takedown. Hudson primarily oh! has been in WCW as a tag team wrestler. We're going to see how he fares here in single competition. You know, there's a lot of difference when you're in tag team wrestling all your life or most of your career. Even if you start out that way, you always wind up depending on your partner. Now you're there by yourself. You're a la carte. Oh! Running start that time by the artist, running into the left-handed lariat by Ashley Hudson. Hudson trying to get an early advantage here. Took could, too much time. Yeah, he sure did. You could see that time uh, very indecisive as to what to do when the artist came off of the ropes on the right side. Now let's see what goes on here. The artist mm. trying to duck down. Good move by Hudson. One step ahead, and he's back on the advantage again. Scoop slam. Oh, the oh. artist holding down on a singlet that time, or maybe by that ponytail, I'm not sure. Well, that's what it's there for if you... Stick out something with a handle, somebody's going to grab it. If you stick out something with a handle, somebody's going to grab it. Sure. And there's that kick right between the shoulder blades, one of the, the trademarks of the artist. That, that's not anything with a handle brain. That's a ponytail. That's not... Yeah, but it can work like a handle. You can use a handle. You well, can wrap it around his neck and choke him with it. You can probably gag him with it. Thank you for that. It, it certainly worked as a handle that time. And good leap over the top. Leg spring by Ashley Hudson, but no, sir. The artist hammering the head of Hudson. Hudson has to let go. Oh, the artist now trying to show off the young man. A roll up the other way. One, two. And he almost did. Hudson came away with a win on a sunset flip. Roll up. Oh! Standing sidekick, though. Got him squarely in the jaw. And now the artist. One, two. Pushed the face down, but did not hook the bottom part of the body. Here he tries again. But Hudson... A lot of reserve. Here's a good pinning combination, but no, Hudson's out of it. I don't think Hudson knows where he's at right now. Is that Scott Hudson? Does that look like Scott Hudson to you? No, that guy's good looking. A pickup. Double leg pickup that time and a headbutt. Low blow that time and the fans do it. Mickey J, the referee, warning. Here, the artist. As you take a look at the boomerang, it always accompanies Ashley Hudson to the ring area up the artist boy he missed that by about three feet and now Ashley Hudson with another opening can he keep it going here back elbow on target well, nice he's got to stay on him Tony if he wants to win this match he's got to stay on him because the artist has too much ability too much experience I think Ashley Hudson we talked about can he thrive in WCW in single competition so far a couple of nice moves but he's not been able to follow it up with anything good move that time hair takedown Pulling the back of the head, face first on the mat, and Ashley Hudson now. Maybe sees his chance. He's got him. Outside in, guillotine leg drop, and a cover. One, two, uh -uh. but no, too close to the rope. And even that, Hudson's foot himself was underneath the bottom rope, which would have stopped the count anyway. The artist staggers to his feet, and Hudson with a blow to the midsection. Ooh. Coming hard out of the turnbuckle pad. Here comes the artist. Has him set up. Oh, that's his oh. Bring it up the middle. Turnbuckle pad with that DDT. Crashing Hudson to the mat. 
Look at this arrogant cover. It's over. And the order secures the victory after Ashley Hudson gave him all he wanted, Brain, during this matchup. Well, you're right about that. He gave him all he wanted. But the artist took it to him. He didn't back up one step. Hudson looked good. He gave it his all. I think if he'd have covered him a couple times, maybe put the boots between his eyes a couple times, kicked him in the earlobe or something like that, he'd been doing a little better. He needed to render the man helpless. And, of course, the artist is your winner. we got three more matches to go. Come on back. We're coming back to the arena right after this. We're coming back.